Alabama, the freshman point guard, has come on to do such a fine job in his first year. Well, that's Ennis Watley. He was one of the most sought-after young players in America out of Birmingham. He's a fancy Dan. He can pass it with the greatest. He can dribble it through his legs. He is the leading assist player on the Alabama team. You are really going to enjoy watching this young freshman play here tonight. That's Ennis Watley. At guard for Alabama, number three, a freshman, 6'3", from Birmingham, Alabama, Ennis Watley. At guard for the all-SEC freshman team, the young man we're seeing here in action tonight, Ennis Watley, the point guard of Alabama, who led the Crimson Tide in assists. Takes the baseline jumper, won't take it. They go back on the side of the band, the block of defense. It's a swarming zone defense and very, very aggressive by Kentucky. Here's Ennis Watley. That's the matchup we talked about as the broadcast began. Watley and Minifield. Here's Eddie Phillips with a strong move to the basket over Turpin. And a magnificent pass from that freshman we talked about, Ennis Watley. Seeing the rebound strongly by Bobby D. Hurd of Alabama. Watley is with Minifield right with him in the front court. One of those good matchups we talked about. Turnovers and poor shooting here in the last few times down court. Kentucky looked like they were in a 2-1-2. Eddie Phillips under heavy pressure. From the field for the season. That's the highest any freshman has ever shot. Here's Watley with a steal. All the way in. Ennis Watley scores. Great steal. He just took it away from Dirk Minifield. Here's Ennis Watley back in for the Crimson Tide, replacing Richardson. Watley pressure from the guard as midfield and master. And he passed the 30 second mark. Takes the shot and hits. Got it right into the middle of that zone defense. Davis to the exit. Dennis Watley as Alabama has possession to open the second half. Backing in is Dirk Minifield. Looks like Kentucky's man-to-man -man for the first time. An aggressive two, Tom, but Watley just went one-on-one -on -one against him. Three-second count. We're not going to count it. That's a tremendous break for Kentucky. Second lane violation. Because Watley just took Minifield one-on-one. -on -one. They cleared out the right side, and he can play one-on-one -on -one with the best of them. You see it scored there. Minifield messed up on Watley. Watley takes it over Turpin and scores. Just lobbed it over the big man's hand. Shoot the ball off the baseline, and that's not where he's at his best. He needs to come back to the middle. And I'll tell you what, Minifield, who's an excellent guard, he's got his hands totally full with Ennis Watley because Watley can beat you with the ball, and they're just going to play one on one basketball with Ennis Watley. If he doesn't have it, he'll pick it off, and he's going to shoot two. Dennis Anderson giving some instructions you saw there for a moment to his team where Ennis Watley steps to the free throw line. He's shooting 71.7% for the season, and he has missed it. They say this young man is the best guard. That's Joby Hall. The young man we're speaking of is Ennis Watley. They say the best point guard in the history of Alabama high school basketball. And it's 25 points and 9 assists a game as a senior. Very poor. Tucky continues to experience poor shooting from the field. Only 27% of the first half. With Wyndham gets a step on Horde. Minifield helps out and cuts him off. With help out defense. But Watley takes it past Minifield. And he scores. And misses the one on one. 31, Kentucky cuts the lead to three. Clock shows 16 minutes and five seconds. Here again is Watley against Minifield. Those two going after each other. Howard picks him up on the switch. Drives baseline and scores. And it's Watley with a high. He and Phillips have dominated the glass. Alabama out rebounding Kentucky badly tonight. They're the highest scoring teams in League Two, but it's going to be low scoring tonight. The zones have made that possible. Looking inside for Phillips with her up on a high post. Watley will take it over Derek Ford and hit. And it's Watley. He's been hot this half. He'd like to look at this again because Watley gets super penetration. He's going to kick it right here underneath the Bobby Lee Hurt. Let's watch him. Yes, right yes, there. He, he juggled his feet as soon as he got wow, almost got it there. He's going to guard Watley. He's going to go for it now. Go for, for it now. Anderson. Go for it now. That is Watley. He got a piece of it. He missed it. Rebound. Watley follows. Short. Tapped up and in by Phillips. Three seconds, time out Kentucky. Here, now, he is a man to be reckoned with. He has won the Southeastern Conference Tournament only the second time in Alabama history that they have won the tournament. CM Newton couldn't do it, and now Whip Sanderson has taken the championship of the SEC tourney by beating Kentucky 48-46. We'll be back to Rupp Arena right after this. Innis Watley, the Alabama...
Alabama guard removing the net from one of the baskets here at Rupp Arena. It's a celebration for the Crimson Tide. This giant crowd, nearly 22,000, dominated the boards in both ends. Joey Rizzi, uh, you're right, we struggled a little bit together. He's, he's a Southeastern Conference champion. Tom, back to you. Thank you very much, Joe Dean. Alabama beating Kentucky 48 to 46. Kentucky led by Dirk Minifield, who had 11 points. Jim Master 10. Alabama lead, uh, leading by uh, Eddie Phillips, who had a great job on the boards and 13 points, including the two points that gave Alabama the win. 12 points for Mike Davis and 11.